So I think it's finally a good time to go through underproduction and overproduction with you guys, and these two concepts are really simple. Now let's just go through these notes I have here, and we'll just get uh, more into it. So inefficiency can occur because too little of an item is produced, and that is uh, called underproduction, or too much is produced, that is called overproduction. Now the scale of inefficiency is measured by something we call dead weight loss, and dead weight loss is the decrease in total surplus that results from the inefficient level of production. Uh, dead weight loss is the decrease in total surplus, and it is usually represented by a gray triangle, which we will uh, draw in a short in a short bit. The total surplus is reduced to less than its maximum when dead weight loss occurs, and dead weight loss is borne by the entire society. So it's not an individual loss, it's a social loss. Everybody feels it. Now, uh, yeah, so remember that in the last video, I told you about, I think I told you that uh, when something like this occurs, then that means that, um, that it is inefficient. And in such cases, uh, it usually blocks the opportunity for our for our model to become an efficient or for the market to have equilibrium so that's what dead weight loss does it messes up equilibrium a lot so let's just get right into it so uh, the first uh, the first concept we're gonna try to hit on is uh, under production so under production Let's just imagine that the production is restricted to five burgers a day and there is uh, underproduction, so the quantity is inefficient. And you may have noticed that I have this uh, burger per day. I forgot to put it in all my other graphs, so just imagine that it was always there. So, yeah, so production is restricted to five burgers a day and there's underproduction. The quantity is inefficient. Now, I've gone through something like this with you guys before, and I think I went through it with you guys in this graph very briefly, but this will be more in depth. So here you see that I have already drawn a dotted line for uh, for the restriction down to five burgers. Uh, this is under production. There is uh, inefficient uh, inefficient amount of qu uh, quantity. So uh, what happens is there's actually a dead weight loss, and you can see that this area that I'm currently tracing out, that I'm currently darkening in these two graphs, this gray area. Is actually called our dead weight loss. Now, what's happening is that we're not at, we're not reaching equilibrium at all. This dead weight loss is the decrease in total surplus. So when we have equilibrium, then that's uh, that's when our total surplus is maximized. Well, we have this dead weight loss now. So then there's a decrease in total surplus, and that means that uh, our total surplus is reduced to less than its maximum uh, when our dead weight loss occurs, and this. Uh, is a social loss and it is born to the entire society. And this is what uh, inefficient production can do. And yeah, it's not really a good thing. So let's just label that a bit. Uh, get my pen out and we'll just label that. This is a uh, dead weight loss. So that's as simple as it gets. It is a decrease in total surplus and uh, it is represented by the gray triangle and this loss is a social loss. Now let's look at overproduction. Now overproduction. Uh, if production, yeah again I went through this with you guys briefly uh, here in a couple videos past I believe. But yeah, let's just take a look at it again. So what happens if production is increased uh, to f or is if production is expanded to 15 burgers a day. A dead weight loss arises from overproduction because well suppliers are only are well they are making these burgers at $20 per burger, but uh, the demand is the value that consumers put on these burgers are only are only $15. So in such a ways uh, these suppliers can only sell their burgers for $15 and that is a loss for the suppliers. And that is another loss born to society and uh, dead weight loss occurs and really dead weight loss can appear on both sides of uh, of the of these two crossed crossed uh, curves so uh, yeah so in in this in our underproduction uh, the producers were making it at ten dollars but uh, but the 
the consumers were valuing it at $20 and that creates not dead weight loss. So let's just label this as DW loss. And uh, yeah, so that's overproduction and underproduction. It's not a very difficult concept. The most important things that you got to know is you got to know where to draw or yeah, you got to know where the dead weight loss occurs and you got to learn how to draw the model and uh, fill in the gray area, the green area and the blue area and uh, how to actually, uh, the process of actually drawing the models. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you know how to do that, then I think you're good for any exam. But other than that, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.